Fender. So since we're on electric guitar <coughs> uh, for this solo, I'm just going to combine some of the, uh, I think it's the keyboards, the organ together with uh, acoustic parts and whatever else is in there. Um, this may not be identical to what you know we're hearing on the tape, but if you were to play this live, I think this is probably how I would play it. Um, considering you know you got a little three or four piece band, uh, we might work with some different variations of this a little bit later as well. So, right after that last part of the chorus, where we're ending on that B, B minor, there's a part in there that's a part of the keyboard, and I play this with my fingers, but I'll just use a pick to make it easy. Um, right there, and all we're doing is descending down uh, the D major scale, and in fact, you can play those types of licks across the major scale all throughout this song, and it works quite well. Uh, here's an, here again is another simple uh, solo, but um, with some very you know just some very common licks that uh, make it that work good. You know what I mean? Sound good. So all we're doing is um, I don't know if you're familiar how far you are with your scales, but if we're in this this position, like uh, we got a D here, uh, fifth position. But we're kind of, uh, the way I would play this would be 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... So we're starting on the second uh, second finger, third fret of the second string. 1 and 2 and 3 and... And then we're going to come over, we're just anchoring, going back and forth from the third fret to the second fret. Alternate picking. Then we're going to come over to the fourth fret of the third string. the same thing going back from the fourth fret to the second fret so it'd be like and then here we're going to switch our position up to the fifth fret and I would just start this with my middle finger um, and there's other ways you could play this but and then we're going to end it so uh, let's see one two three so we do that three times going to end that bar and then start that three times. I'm going to end it or end the bar from from the fourth fifth fret at the uh, fourth string back to the fourth fret of the of the fourth string. So and just finally resolve it all from the seventh fret back to the fifth fret on the fifth string. Okay, so, um, and that's when we really come into the actual guitar solo. So this part here I'm playing is really done on, I think, the keyboard. And then we're going to play that twice. So we want to practice that part and get that, um, get that down. And then when the next part was going to be a... Um, so we would start this fifth fret of the fifth string, and then come over to the fifth fret of the sixth string. So it's uh, back to the fifth fret of the of the fifth string. It's kind of, when you combine these two licks together. Keep in mind you're going to be playing this note twice when you're going to end on it. Uh, there may be some uh, some other things that the keyboard is playing there, uh, uh, but that'll that'll work well. Just leading straight in, so it's coming. So, fifth fret, fifth string, fifth fret, sixth string, back to the fifth fret of the fifth string, seventh fret of the fifth string, and you're gonna slide that up to the ninth fret. So you play it and then slide it. And then you're just going to come across on the seventh fret of the fourth string, and then seventh fret of the um, the uh, third string. Really, just playing a pentatonic kind of scale here, just diagonally. So, um, and from that seventh fret on the the third string, 
you want to go up to the ninth fret on the third string and we're going to slide again but up to that point would be and then we're going to slide that up from the ninth fret up to the eleventh fret on the third string alright let me do it again So when we slide up to the 11th fret on the 3rd string, we're going to come back to the 10th fret of the 2nd string, then the 10th fret of the high E string or 1st string. And then, then we're going to go to the, the 12th fret of the high E string and slide it up to the uh, 14th fret of the high E string. And that's going to kind of, I think, resolve that or end it. I'm sorry. Uh, we're actually going to come back 12th fret, 10th fret on the first string, and we're going to. That's where we're going to end it is on the 12th fret of the second string. Let's do that again. And I'm going to let that ring a little bit, and then we're going to play a series of. Uh, I think it's thirds, uh, but you know you got a lot of instruments going on here. You probably got two. At least a guitar, a acoustic, and a an electric. Sounds like it might even be two acoustics going on, but we'll just keep it simple and just stick with thirds. Um, we'll, we, we'll, we might, you know, I'll make another video on this later on, and we'll talk about some different ideas you can use. But um, we'll just so that's just really part of your D uh, down here. Um, Going to be second finger on the fifteenth fret of the second string, first finger on the fourteenth fret. And um, one, two, three, one, two, three, maybe a triplet. And then we're just sliding back to where our second fret, second fingers on the, or my second fingers on the 14th fret of the second string, first finger is on the 12th fret of the first string. And then we're going to slide that back, 12th fret, second string, 10th fret of the first string. Now you could, um, Could, you could do it that way, but I, 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 uh, at this point I hear a... I'm just throwing in, changing up, instead of playing a, what I say, a third, uh, well, I don't know what... Um, uh, there's our third, there's our root note, I'm just playing the fifth is all I'm doing. So here I'm actually, you would have to finger pick this because I'm, I'm skipping over uh, to the the third fret, I'm sorry, the third string of the 14th fret, and then I'm playing, putting my ring, fing, ring finger on the uh, 14th fret of the high E string, and just playing those together. And then to get that suspended type of sound, I'm just bringing my pinky up to the 15th fret of the high E. And then ending it, just come back here to part of your G chord, um, I would use my second finger on the 12th fret of the 3rd string and then my first finger on the high E string at the 10th fret. So, it would be like... Um, you, if, you, if you don't like playing it that way, just stick to the original triads and stay on the first two strings and just... and just bar down. 15th fret of the second and first string and then come back where you're, you're now playing the 12th fret of the second string instead of the third string 12th fret of the second string and the and the 10th fret of the first string I just like the but if you throw it all together it'd be like did it the other way, the easier way. It, it doesn't, you know, it, either way it will work. Um, some people, I've seen some people just using the entire chord as well. You know, if 
you can do that cleanly, then go ahead and do it. Um, and then finally, we're just really just barring this uh, uh, B B minor. Uh, and I'm playing this. Uh, I'm just combining that scale here again. So um, <clears throat> from there, we just be we play that three times, and here again, all we're doing is playing the D major scale. So we're going to ascend up it from the seventh fret to the ninth fret on the third string, then from the seventh fret to the eighth fret, and then the tenth fret on the um, second string. I think that's right. And then um, we kind of um, then you're going to go back to the second fret. I'm sorry, seventh fret of the second string, up to the eighth fret of the um, second string. You're playing a little pattern here across the scale where you're kind of. Uh, descending pattern but it's not um, you know you're skipping a few notes in there the intervals are different so then you're going to come over to the ninth fret of the third string back to the seventh fret of the second string and then come over to the seventh fret of the third string then back to the ninth fret of the third string so you see what's going on here is you're just kind of doing a loop-to-loop -loop type of thing Come back to the sixth fret of the third string, back up to the seventh fret of the third string, over to the ninth fret of the fourth string, back to the sixth fret of the third string, seventh fret of the fourth string, up to the well, let's see, hold on a second, yeah, up to the seventh fret of the fourth string, and then go back to the fifth fret of the fourth string. Um, up to the seventh fret of the fourth string, ninth fret of the fifth string, fifth fret of the fourth string, uh, seventh fret of the fifth string, up to the ninth fret of the uh, fifth string. Uh, it's kind of getting all confusing, but hopefully you know the D major scale. You could all you could keep this all within this. Uh, That's really all we're doing. We're just doing an alternating pattern is all. Um, so that's 7th um, fret, back to the 6th fret, 7th fret, up to the ninth fret on the 3rd string. All you're doing is a... And then you're going to play that little keyboard part again if you want to. I guess that, I should say that's optional. And it's just the same thing. So all we're doing is alternating back from the seventh fret to the fourth, seventh fret to the sixth fret on the third string. One and two and three and four and, and then we're going to come to the ninth fret on the four, four beat back to the uh, seventh fret on the and. So, and then start that all over again. And that last part is just ninth fret back to the seventh fret of the fourth string. One and two and uh, and then I'm just playing a B minor, C sharp minor up to a D. Uh, I, I know I'm kind of doing this backwards by showing you the solo first, but because I've been so pressed for time with school, I haven't been able to make these these videos for you. And uh, I wanted to give you something to give you a, enough time to work on so I can make the the remaining videos and. Uh, We'll just turn this into a lesson, give you more ideas of what you play. Because really, this is one of those songs where it's very hard to play identical unless you've got, you know, a keyboard player, a pedal steel player, probably two acoustic players, and I think even a um, 
sounds like there's some steel drums going on in there somewhere, but if we throw that all together and uh, fast so let me just play it one more time with the recording and slow it down got ahead of myself right there at the end but um that's not identical to what he's playing but I mean it's it's very close I think a lot of what he's doing is probably up here on the the other edge the, the lower end of the neck which I know is kind of where you like to play but it's all it's all major scale type stuff so um, you can you can take this little lick uh, Hard to get the timing right on that, but you know, you got that all over, and I'll show you some more stuff, some more ideas on that a little bit later. Um, but that's basically it. If you have any problems, uh, get in touch with me, let me know because uh, you know, I'm kind of unlike the last lessons we did, I'm not doing it all at one time, so uh. I wanted to give you a little bit because I'm going to be busy this weekend writing more papers and um, for school. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I'll get another week video out for you by the weekend or not. But I want to give you something uh, to let you play on. Uh, next video, I'll go back over, jump back and go over the chords and give you some ideas of, you know, what he's playing, but what you can also play as fills and how maybe to, you know, just some different things you can do while. Um, playing with this song because I think it sounds better to be honest with you when you when you approach it that way uh, uh, instead of trying to when you got you know like a little a little three or four piece band um, sometimes it sounds a little I've seen people do this song cover it where it sounds really good when uh, the songs, I don't want to say bluesy in a way but they, you know they kind of customize it to their own way rather than trying to get it exactly right without having all the instruments and all the players in the band. Um, so I'll show you some more tricks in, in the next video. Talk to you later.